Hey guys, what are your favorite appetizers to order when you go out? I love coconut shrimp and wings, but you know what? A really good spinach dip is so amazing. Let's make some spinach dip today. So over medium heat, we're going to add some olive oil to a pan. Then I'm going to add some unsalted butter. Once it's mostly melted, then I'm going in with some diced onions. And we're just going to stir these around to get them coated. Cook them in the butter until they're translucent. They don't have to be browned, okay? Once these start to get fragrant and a little translucent, you can go in with finely minced garlic. You can use garlic powder, but you know that fresh garlic is so good for this. You already know that the kitchen is smelling amazing at this point. Now I've made spinach dip many times before and sometimes I just get the frozen one or I blanch it and then squeeze it out. But this time I'm only using fresh spinach so this is just some rough chopped spinach okay you don't have to shred it in any fancy way just chop up the fresh spinach this was rinsed and everything it's clean and i'm gonna add it to the pan over medium high heat once you add in a little you're gonna stir this around because sometimes if you allow the spinach to just sit what happens is it just releases all of that water and it gets soggy so the key is to keep your flame medium high or high and just keep stirring so i do a little and then i'm gonna go in with some more spinach now if you don't want to do it this way and you have your frozen spinach you can always thaw it out and squeeze out the excess water some people don't do it this way when they're making spinach dip because they're afraid of the dip being watery so they like to squeeze out all the juices you know i try not to sometimes because you're getting rid of a lot of flavor you're getting rid of a lot of nutrients when you discard that water right so we're just going to be cooking the spinach on the stove with the garlic and the onion and just keep stirring it just keep moving it around this is a wide pan so that just you know gets all that liquid evaporated really fast so we're not gonna have soggy spinach all of the spinach is in the pan right now and i'm just gonna cook the rest of it once it's cooked you can remove it from the pan and set it aside for later or you can leave it in there and just continue the cooking okay it's really up to you now guys it's super simple you have a choice you can do it this way just add in some milk and then some softened cream cheese and the other ingredients just to make your dip if you don't love cream cheese you could actually just make a cheese sauce you can make a roux with your butter and flour add lots of heavy cream or whipping cream and then add your grated cheese you could do it so many different ways this time i'm making it with a little milk and cream cheese so you just stir it until all of it has loosened up no more lumps and then you can go in with your seasonings and more cheese I'm going to be adding a little sour cream. It adds a little tang so you get that flavor, but you also get even more creaminess. This is super creamy and cheesy. If you don't have sour cream, that's fine. I'm going to add some Worcestershire sauce for flavor. You can add some black pepper 
Add a little salt too if necessary. This time I'm going to be using Italian seasoning because Italian seasoning has a, has a little salt, but it also has those dried herbs as well. Make sure you give the mixture a taste and adjust as needed, okay? So after tasting this, I added a little more Italian seasoning and cayenne right there. And then I go in with the shredded cheese. I'm using a little cheddar, jack cheese, and mozzarella cheese. If mozzarella is all you have, then use that. I like the flavor that all these cheeses add to the mix. And I'm adding a little Parmesan cheese as well. Use what you have at home, all right? This Monterey Jack cheese that I'm using, it has the jalapenos and other spices so it's so good what i'm going to be using is three dishes today instead of one big dish so everybody has their own because sometimes when you share a spinach dip when all of that top part you know that beautiful bubbly part is gone one person's stuck with just the, the you know the insides so each person has their own it's perfect so we have that then we will sprinkle on some cheese the same combination of mozzarella, jack cheese, parmesan. If you want to stick to just one cheese, that's fine too. It's your spinach dip. So these are good to go. What I need to do now is to put this on a baking tray. That way it's easier to get it out of the oven. Because these tiny things, the oven mitts sometimes just can't grip them, right? So put it on a tray and then it will be easier to handle. The oven has been preheated to 375. We're just going to bake it until it's bubbly and then turn on the broiler on low to get more color. So this is it guys. This was definitely more than 12 minutes. They are nice and bubbly and then I turned on the broiler just to give it more color. They're gorgeous. They're not overly brown. The cheese is melted so nicely. I'm just gonna dip into one of these look at this guys amazing and see it is not watery because some people worry that if they don't squeeze out all the juices out of the spinach the dip is going to be watery it doesn't have to be you just have to cook the spinach properly all right but look at that gorgeousness everybody just gets their own and guys you could have this with any crusty kind of bread that you like i made some semi homemade garlic parmesan naan amazing so flavorful i'll be sharing that video next so look out for that video later today this just it was so gooey and delicious and the garlic parm naan perfect thank you so much for watching let me know how this works out and remember to look out for that video for the garlic parmesan naan all right I'll see you next time.